Since the advent of democracy in Nigeria, political office holders have been criticized for their heavy remunerations. In spite of these agitations, the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission has announced it is reviewing the remuneration of political office holders, intending to possibly increase it. Addressing some journalists in Abuja, RMAFC Chairman Elias Mba says it is the intention of the Commission to review the remuneration of public office holders this year, and the process will determine whether it will be a reduction or an increase. Despite being declared the poverty capital of the world in 2019, Nigerian public office holders are reputed to be among the highest paid worldwide. The possible increase in these pay packages is seen as outrageous, considering the federal government had admitted in 2019 that the country was not generating enough revenue and planned to take more loans to fund part of the 2020 budget. According to the breakdown made available by the RMAFC, the following are the basic salaries per annum of Nigeria public office holders. President Muhammad Buhari earned 3.5 million naira. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, 3.03 million. Ministers, 2.02 million. Minister of State, 1.95 million. Special Advisor, 1.94 million. Governor, 2.22 million. Deputy Governor, 2.11 million. Commissioner, 1.33 million. According to outgone Kaduna State Senator Sheh Husani, federal lawmakers earn 700,000 naira monthly consolidated salary and receive allowances of up to 13.5 million monthly as running cost. Senators are also entitled to up to 200 million naira constituency project allowance, which though does not come to them in cash, the Independent Corrupt Practices and Related Offenses Commission ICPC, has accused them of conniving with agencies to loot. Apart from the basic salaries, these public office holders are entitled to allowances of all sorts, such as house maintenance, security, special assistant, domestic staff, entertainment, recess, furniture, wardrobe, duty toll, accommodation, estacode, and medical allowances, even newspaper periodicals and utilities. Several groups are kicking against this possible pay increase for political office holders. The Coalition in Defense of Nigerian Democracy and Constitution described any upward review in the salaries and allowances of politicians as wicked and unacceptable, noting that Nigerians will not accept it. The Nigerian Employers Consultative Association has recommended the downward adjustment in salaries and allowances of all political office holders to make the offices less attractive. Executive Director of Yaga Africa, Samson Etodo, said any move that will increase the emoluments of politicians was a mockery of the avowed plan to cut the cost of governance. Executive Director, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, Awa Rafsanjani, warned that pay rise for politicians could lead to political violence. For this administration to prove its mandate to improve the economy and cut the cost of governance, the lawmakers need to discourage any pay increase by the RMAFC and, if possible, take a pay cut to reflect the realities of the struggling economy.